Kameen Samuel, and I am a rapid transformation business coach and a bit of a reinvention specialist. You see, I work with clients all over the world that are trying to accomplish new goals. And the way we do that is through reinventing themselves. You see, we've been reinventing ourselves since we were kids. So we have put on a cape and we thought we were superheroes or we got to high school and had to reinvent ourselves in order to th survive. Um, for myself, after college, I became a Navy helicopter pilot and had to reinvent myself as that to be successful, and I was. Uh, but when I left that, I had to reinvent myself again and time and time and time again. And if you think about your life from that perspective, how many times have you reinvented yourself? And there are five basic steps that I work with my clients on every day in this process to achieve their goals. The first is to center yourself. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is to meditate. And you can meditate for one minute, eight minutes and higher. Um, but it's really about that connecting within, calming our minds so that we are raising in our consciousness, raising in our creativity to see options and opportunities that we might have. And many people will ask me to, to come in and work with their teams, but I start with the leaders because it's from them that they set the tone. And so we start there in that calmness and that creativity. The second step is asking the question, what is my very next level in which I can thrive? It's not a big giant jump, it's that very next level. And I have a video on my website, kameensamuel.com slash impact2020. And it's called Stepping Stones to Success. And I also have a PDF on leaders that thrive in changing times that you can go there and download. And what it, we want to make sure is we're just going for that next level, not too big. We have to be able to believe it. So what's that very next level? Because that will create momentum. The third step is to ask, what do I need to believe in order to achieve that goal? And that belief, that mindset helps us to create the fourth step, which are what are the habits? What are the habits that I need in order to support that goal, that belief and who I am becoming? The last step, the fifth step is um, one that comes from my collaboration with leaders such as Steve Chandler and Gay Hendricks and Carol Klein. And that is to ask, how will this goal, this next step, benefit others? You see, when we're benefiting others, there's this kind of luck attracting power, this adds power to this goal that we have that allows us to excel and to soar. And that's asking, in addition to how will this benefit yourself, asking how will this benefit my family, my friends, my colleagues, my coworkers, my employees, my vendors, the people I pay, and ultimately how will this benefit the world? And that adds that boost. And so there are the, those are the five steps that I work with my clients every day on. You have them. You uh, can go up and get those, the additional resources that I have for you. And really from that point, once you've identified that, then you can work with your teams on this. You can teach this power, this opportunity to reinvent themselves once you're clear or bring them into the process so that you're all looking at your organization in order to pivot towards success, not just cope. I always say, if you're looking for someone to help you cope, that's not me. <laughs> but if you're looking to thrive, that's where I, um, my vision comes in and my ability to see uh, what's possible for people. And that's what you are doing in that centering process and what's that next level and what's the belief and what's my new habits and how will this benefit others? So teach that to others, teach that to your leadership team. Um, allow yourself to um, see where you can go next. And I wish you so much success.